Hey, 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 this is Pierre Vdrakot working at Planet Technologies. Progressive web app. That's a nice feature in Edge. And I want to take a quick tour of, of how I use it. You probably already know how to use this feature. It's the ability to transform a, a web page into an app, uh, some sort of app. Um, so first of all, I think it's really interesting to see how I use this. Um, for example, if I want to go uh, into Teams in the browser, I have to go to the portal, then switch to the team. Then I have the team, and then I need to go back, you know, if I want to go to something else, I have to go back to the portal, go to my OneDrive. So it's a lot of click around. Uh, so what you could do actually is take the the page and you know it's here the page and you can you could pin the page here. You could pin the page um, on your taskbar but it's not working that well. So another trick is to say, this page, I want to make it as uh, an app. That's what I did here. So if I put everything, and minimize, and minimize my screens here. So here I did that for my OneDrive. So in one click, I, ac I have access to my OneDrive. And you can see, it, you, I don't see Edge. It looks like an app. And I can do everything I want into this environment. You know, it's not it's not different. I can filter. I can. It's just like I was doing it in the, in the in Edge. So it's exact same behavior, but embedded in s some sort of app. So what I did is to have a quick access to my OneDrive or to Yammer. My Yammer. I did the same thing with Yammer. I did the same thing with Teams. So I can have Teams in the browser while I'm having Teams in the in the desktop app. So I have both. They're the same here, but here it's the browser actually. And I can that way I can switch to another organization if you want to switch to another organization pretty quickly and have the two sessions open. Um, that's really helpful. And also, you can see I have um, my personal Outlook. So that's Outlook Live. Can you see Outlook Live directly? And also, I have something different. I have different credentials in a non other tenant. And I, when I click on this, I have access to Office 365 directly and I have the new because this tenant has a new design and I have everything on hand. So it's pretty easy to navigate wherever I want without have to be forced to click several times to find where I want to go. So I can, you know, pin those apps in the taskbar and just click on what is the most useful for me. So let me show you how you do that. And actually, it's pretty simple. So go back in Edge. So since I did it for a lot of things, uh, it won't show <coughs> for most of them. So we're going to try to do something new. Um, so let's say, for example, I want to have, you can see I have my OneNote here. I want to have the same thing, the OneNote, but the, in a web app. So I click on web app. And every time there's a, a website that is compliant with this uh, new concept of uh, progressive web apps, you'll see this icon in Edge. So it's app is available. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to install that. The only drawback you'll see is I cannot change the name of it. I cannot change the logo of it. But I can pin to the taskbar, pin to start. Um, and I will have a new icon. So now if I click here, there is the icon. So the only problem here is I have the same icon for this, so I need to remember which one is what. Um, but 
that's pretty simple. Another thing, there's other you know websites that are eligible for uh, progressive web apps. For example, YouTube. So I'm this is my YouTube channel. So if I want to create an app for that, just have to create the app, install the app, pin the app. Can even auto start and everything. So now I have the app. It's pinned and I just need to click on it and have access to all my YouTube um, so this the only drawback I just discovered is it doesn't go to my page directly so probably I need to fine-tune that but this way I can have access quickly to a lot of apps directly in my taskbar and um, that will uh, allow me to go quickly, navigate quickly where I want, instead of having to launch Office 365, select the app I want to switch uh, to another turn, for example, I have directly access to that. With this little confusion of same icon, I cannot, I cannot change this. I can just unpin it if I don't want to see it again. Also, you can have access to your manage apps here through the apps so that's where you can find all the the apps you you created um, and so maybe I have two Outlook I guess this one is Outlook Live and the other one is I didn't pin the other one The other one is a corporate email. So I could also have a third uh, Outlook icon here for my corporate email if I want to have a web access because Outlook for the web has sometimes has more features. So remember this um, icon, apps, and you can you know, install apps, manage your apps here. Um, if I want to get rid of some of the, uh, those apps, I can just come and click on whatever I want to uninstall. Oh, this was helpful.